probably see from the pictures preceding this my milk stout which I just made yesterday and um, <clears throat> experienced a blow off so what's a blow off the blow off is when the fermentation is so vigorous that it pushes through the airlock the airlock I had was one of a simple cheap s shaped airlock so this is a solution this is a blow off tube so I remove the airlock from the top and fix a bit of tubing at the top the tubing goes around and is effectively in a, in a bucket of water. So it's it works exactly the same as, a, as an airlock in that nothing can get back up the tubing but for the blow off and you can probably see in the tubing there the gunk instead of the gunk just slopping out of the top of the airlock and spilling all over the ground the gunk follows the tube down and it'll just settle into the pot and collect there. That means I won't wake up tomorrow morning and there'll be a dirty mess. Now it's it's actually quite easy to to set this up. That tubing I have is is most homebrewers would have it from bottling and whatnot. And it just it easily just stuck in the in the in the bung um hole there. And that's the same bung I had my S shaped airlock in, but that tubing fitted in no bother. Um most homebrewers are going to have a length long enough and all you have to do is make sure that the other end of that and you can see it bubbling away under there is under the water and that's effectively an airlock as well obviously it should be sanitized um, so I imagine tomorrow I'll be able to replace that again with another standard S-shaped airlock So I'm going to set up the fermenter again with the heating pad. I'm just going to set it up here as opposed to the utility room. Well, there's, a, there's a good chunk of gunk going through the tube there. So I imagine tomorrow or maybe the next day I, the fermentation will have died down a bit and I'll re replace all this with the standard airlock. That is one of the unfortunate drawbacks of the S-shaped airlock when you have a situation like this where the fermentation is pushed through the airlock it, the, the gunk gets into the chambers there if you can see that it's extremely hard to clean that so I imagine this airlock unfortunately is for the bin one of the, the two or three piece airlocks um, are much easier to clean and actually they're much better in one of these situations as well because the tube coming out of the top of the fermenter would fit directly into the airlock but it doesn't fit on these airlocks so fortunately this one is for the bin mm -hmm. 